of demands tend to succeed and the ones that are amorphous tend not to succeed. So I go, I went on the website, Day Without a Woman, to try and figure out what this is about. And one of the things I learned is that you're supposed to avoid shopping except at women and minority-owned businesses. In other words, if the business is owned by a white man, you can't shop there. You shouldn't shop there. Why the hostility toward white men? What do they have to... Why white men, exactly? Well, I, I don't think that it's necessarily hostility towards white men. I think it's more about being supportive towards women and towards minorities who are historically disenfranchised in this country, who are paid less, who are not treated as well in the, work, in the workforce, who don't have, you know, uh, stability in the workforce. Uh, so I don't think that's, this is about punishing white men. I think that it is about supporting women and people of color. Well, sure. If you're boycotting white men, it's, it's obviously an attack on white men, but but those, you, you're, that's not true, actually. So if you look at household median income, the top three slots are not white men. They're all people of color. I think the number one is Indians, and number two is Taiwanese, and the third is, I think, Filipino. Um, so actually, white men are not making the most money in this country. I don't know if you've checked the numbers. So it's a little bit weird to say boycott white businesses, white male-owned businesses, when they're not the most successful. What is that about? Uh, you know, I think that if you were to look at the statistics, it is largely white men that are positions of power as far as CEOs, as far as people in, uh, you know, power at various businesses, as far as people who hold the majority of leadership positions, who hold the majority of CEO positions for Fortune 500 companies. So, you know, I traditionally and historically and factually today, uh, white men are in better positions when it comes to, you know, workplace equality than... But that's not, but that's not, that's not actually true. I mean, historically, yeah, I think that's right. But, to, I mean, if you want to speak historically, so the, the Department of Labor ranks this by ethnicity, and historically it was a country settled by British settlers. So if you run down the list, British Americans, English Americans, are number 41 for income. I'm not saying, you know, white people are successful. They are, but it's much more complicated than that. And so why not acknowledge that, I guess? I think that we're kind of getting off of the point here, Tucker. I think no, that the no, point the of point today is, is about women's equality. And if we're talking about where, where we're, if we're talking about where women stand in today's economy, right. the U.S. is 28th best as far as gender equality goes in the world. They're 60th best as far as gender empowerment goes for women in the world. So, right. you know, maybe I can appeal to your patriotism on this point. Um, I don't want the U.S. to be 60th best in anything or well, well, it depends. 28th, I mean, 28th best uh, in anything. Well, I, um, I want us to be the best at this. It depends what the measurements are. I mean, come on. Well, anything, so, I mean, anything depends so what the I'll, measurements I'll, are. These I'll, are from, <laughs> these are from the World out. Economic Forum is the statistics that I'm okay. stating. But, I mean, what does that even mean? But I'll, I'll throw one out for you that I think is, is interesting. So for younger women, women entering the workplace, there was a, a recent survey done in the 150 biggest cities in the United States, and in 148 of them, young women in their 20s entering the workforce made more than their peers, their male peers. So things are changing. I mean, boys graduate from high school at lower rates, from college at lower rates, and young men, unmarried, childless young men, make less in cities than comparable women. So, like, that's good. You should be happy about it, right? Well, I think that there's absolutely progress being made. I will not deny that at all. 